In this video, we'll be using every single circus unit versus endless mode in Five Nights TD. And as you guys know, by the time this game updates, we can now obtain the new nightmare unit, which can only be obtained if you unlock all of these other circus units. So I have all four of these. So we'll be testing it out against endless mode in this video. And once the game updates, we can test out the nightmare unit versus endless mode. And we'll see how far each of them can get on endless mode. I'm not too sure how OP this nightmare unit will be, but usually new nightmare units are pretty good. So I'm curious to see how far it can get once it's released. So yeah, we'll have our starter unit over here, which is the Night Guard Afton. And it does pretty good damage for the start. So 200 to 450 damage every 0.8 seconds. And it can also slow as well as poison the enemies. And so the first unit that we'll be testing out in endless mode will be the Funtime Foxy. So yeah, let's go ahead and equip that and let's go ahead and run to endless mode. Alright, we are now in endless mode. So I'm not too sure how hard night 5 is. So I'm either gonna vote night 4 or night 3. Let's go ahead and vote night 4. I haven't tried out night 4 yet ever since the update on endless mode so yeah we'll try out night four and let's see if this rare unit can get anywhere all right so i'm gonna choose reanimation i guess or should i choose this one what is this okay i think i get more rewards from this but i'm gonna choose reanimation i think that should be the easiest i'm not too sure so yeah we have to defend both these exits over here i'm going to place down the night guard as the starter unit and I'm just maxed out the night guard. So let's go ahead and place down another one. Seems like we need it to clear off these. So yeah, now we'll place down our fun time foxy. And as you can see, it has a hammer with very terrible range. Okay, um, let's place down all of these fun time foxies. How many can we place? We can only place three of these guys. That's not too great. I'm going to place the last one back here. And all right, there we go. We have already placed down all of our fun time foxies. How many night guards can we place? Okay, we can place three, but I guess I'll place two for now. I don't want to place too much since we want to test out how good these fun time foxies will be. So yeah, we'll leave it at this and let's see how far we can get. I mean, right now the night guards are carrying this game since it's doing most of the damage but the further we go the more it's gonna depend on other units rather than just the night guard since the night guard can't just carry the whole game but yeah let's see how far this team can get so we got cursed bonnies with 6000 hp each and they're still getting shredded i mean at least the fun time foxies are doing something since they're actually getting in range of them to where they can actually contribute rather than just this night guards carrying the whole game i'm actually kind of glad that we chose this map since this map is decent for short range units since we have these corners over here that we can place fun time foxies in i mean i could place it in the middle over here i'm not too sure if that will reach i think it actually will should i do that i think i should all right i think we are gonna just move it right now i accidentally just that and i'm just going to sell this as well and we'll place down a fun time foxy right in the middle and we'll max that out yeah i think this is a way better spot especially the fact that we can only place three of these all right i'm placing another one right here we're gonna max that out and another one let's sell this one if we can why are we okay there we go i'm going to place this last one right over here and max that out all right so we have the carnage bonnie as the boss we are taking it down pretty nicely i forgot how much hp it had i think it had like a hundred thousand hp or something and we just cleared that that's very good okay we have cursed chicas now which is a lot tougher it has 12,000 hp so yeah these waves are starting to get harder but wave 12 right now that's pretty good so this fun time foxy even though we have already sold it before it did 11,000 damage and this one does 4,000 and this one's zero because nothing has reached this guy's range yet all right we have a curse freddy now which is 25,000 hp we can definitely clear this but i'm not too sure how hard this will get actually let's turn on auto skip i forgot to turn on auto skip earlier but that's fine i don't think it would have changed anything but yeah we have even more cursed freddy's now 
25,000 health and we have two more coming over here and I don't know if this is intentional like the curse foxies just kind of slides down the track and it cuts the track a little bit and as you can see this curse foxy is being really cursed right now I'm not too sure if that's intentional I don't think it is I think it's a bug and a balloon boy just died but it got all the way up over here which is the furthest they have gotten so far so yeah this is definitely getting quite hard pretty fast let's check out our rewards we have 350 coins and three souls i'll take that but i mean these night guards are definitely carrying this game right now 639,000 total damage and this one almost at 500,000. okay just reached it but yeah we're doing pretty good even on auto skip right now all right um we have a ton of enemies coming but they are all dead at this same spot once again this seems to be the limit of where they can go right now since the highest hp was 25,000 hp i think but the bosses are a lot slower than those small enemies so that's why the bosses can't get too far but with auto skip on i think the boss might actually end this game since they got these little enemies to tank for the main boss with 100,000 hp so yeah we just cleared those small enemies 25,000 HP and now we have this ready with 107,000 HP at the start but now it's down to 75,000 I think we might actually clear it well that's quite OP I did not expect to clear this boss I mean we haven't cleared it yet but we're gonna clear it I don't think we lose to it but at least now we have our Funtime Foxies reaching near 100,000 total damage that's pretty good for a rare unit and we are about to take down this boss and there we go we just took out the wave 20 boss we're now on wave 24 let's see how much further we can get if i were to guess i think maybe we lose at wave 30 because of the boss but i'm not too sure how tough the wave 30 boss is i'm not too sure about the scaling of endless 4 but we'll see because right now the most hp enemy is still at 25,000 hp not too sure why it hasn't increased even though we've passed the wave 20 point and this one's still 25,000 i mean there are a lot more enemies now it's just that their hp aren't increasing too much and yeah we're gonna clear all of these as well at this same spot that they'd always die to all right seems like it's going to be the same all the way until wave 30 since i'm not seeing any tougher enemies or any number changes to their hp but these cursed foxies are just broken right now like what are they doing interesting i like how they just slide down and then they fall and then they just cut all the way over here and there we go we're now at wave 30 we have a dead man foxy at 172,000 hp i mean it's pretty slow but i think it's because the night guards are slowing it but yeah we have a new wave as well along with this boss and also a tougher enemy with 30,000 HP. Okay, it finally broke the limit of how far they went. So yeah, the 30,000 HP guy just died over here. So yeah, another 30,000 HP guy over here. And okay, it just died at the same spot. But we still have the dead man Foxy as the boss, which is still coming. But right now, it doesn't have anything to tank for the boss. Actually, never mind. There is something tanking for it. We might actually lose at this wave. Yup, they have gotten further now. And this boss is still at 92,000 HP. This might be the wave that we lose. I think we lose at this wave. 55,000 HP still. And we still have all these guys coming. Alright, they're getting very, very far now. Um, They seem to be dying over here though. But once again, the boss is still on 43,000 HP. Oh wait, never mind. We just completely shredded the boss. But we still have 30,000 HPs and 25,000 HPs. Okay, they're getting very far now. I think we lose here. Um, 3,000 HP. Okay, we managed to kill that. And we managed to kill those as well. Yo, did we actually save this? I think we might have saved it. I don't think they can win now. They're gonna need another boss to tank for them. We definitely have to lose at wave 40 since these guys are not gonna get past, especially with the amount of HP that they have. 
I mean, they're still getting to this point though. Okay, they're getting kind of far now. Let's see, let's see. They're still gonna get wiped over here though. So yeah, I think we're good. I think they're gonna have to wait for the wave 40 boss to be able to get past. It's starting to lag a little because of how many enemies there are. Alright, the wave 40 boss is a huge jump. 251,000 HP. They're gonna need that. But yeah, we definitely lose here now. Since the 150,000 HP boss managed to get till over here. So with this boss, it's definitely going to kill our base. And we have a ton of other enemies coming as well. So yeah, I think we're losing here. The boss barely took any damage. Still on 246,000 HP. And our night guard have done 3 million total damage so far. And the Funtime Foxies actually did 300,000 damage. That's actually pretty good. Alright, this boss is at 170,000 HP now. Which is about how much the previous boss had. So it already got all the way here. So we're just gonna lose very soon. I wished I turned on auto skip way earlier because this took quite long. Alright, 100,000 HP. I doubt we actually saved this. 80,000 HP. We still have a bunch of other guys over here. Yeah, I don't think we're saving this. 60,000 HP. Um, It's getting close. But we have the other guys which are probably going to tank some hits for the boss. I'm not too sure because it started to slow down a lot. There's no way we actually clear this. Wow, I did not expect to clear the wave 40 boss. How did we even clear that? I'll take it though. 1,400 coins so far. Looks like we're gonna wait for the wave 50 boss. Maybe I shouldn't have used two night guards. I think that was a bit overkill should have just used like one night guard so that this doesn't take too long but it is what it is i'm glad that i did not use three though but you know i wanted the symmetry it looks cooler that wave two here and then three of these fun time foxies here and we still have cursed foxies just falling off the stairs all right wave 50 boss we have the tormented fred bear 344,000 HP. That's insane. I mean, it's a little bit slow. Still down to 300,000 HP now. We have to lose here. There's no way that we somehow save this. So that's kind of bad. We have to lose here. There's no way we save this. I'm probably going to jinx it again. Look, it's down to 200,000 HP. There's just no way. I have no idea why it's frozen. Oh wait, or they are just really slow. Like, is it lagging or something? It's already down to 120,000 HP. And it's barely moving a pixel. I mean, let's look at this. What is he doing? Like, is he just purposely throwing? Like, look at this. He's moving like one pixel per second. I mean, what is this? Why is he moving this slow? Is it just his movement speed plus the slowing from my units? Or, I mean, with a ton of other stuff coming behind, but they're still getting shredded. And the boss is already down to like 30,000 HP. I guess we clear it again because it's like what is this movement speed all right interesting looks like we're gonna have to wait till wave 60 now all right wave 60 now we have another boss with a ton of hp a lot more now 450,000 hp if we still somehow clear this then we're gonna spend forever to test out all the other units i definitely shouldn't have placed down two night guards because that was a bad idea since this is taking forever wait but we have a 45,000 hp guy now and it got very far and yeah i think i was lagging just now the internet was kind of slow so that's why they move so slow but right now we're gonna lose right here not even to the boss to the normal units with 38,000 hp each finally we lost we lost that um wave 63 all right let's remember that and now let's go ahead and test out the epic unit all right now for the second unit we're gonna be using fun time freddy so this guy has 500 to 800 damage every one second so let's equip that but it's a lot more expensive 7500 to just place down um let's compare this to the fun time foxy okay this guy's a lot better but a lot more expensive so yeah let's go ahead and test this out all right let's choose reanimation so yeah as much as i don't wanna place 
two F tons again, but we gotta make this fair for the previous round. We have placed two of these guys, so we're gonna have to place two on this match as well and maxing them out. Even though it takes 30 minutes, we gotta keep this fair. The next time I do this, I'm probably not gonna place two more unless I try out endless five which i'm not too sure how much harder it is i'll test it out after i'm done with this but yeah probably not gonna be using two of these guys next time or we'll be spending like 30 minutes on each endless round testing these out and some workers foxies just falling off this track so yeah we'll place these guys in the same spot as the fun time foxies so yeah i'm gonna place this guy here and yeah it's very expensive to place down but it does a lot more damage which means that we're gonna have to spend a lot more time on this round so yeah i'll just skip past some of these since we've already seen how far the rare unit could get so this guy's gonna get a lot further so i'm just gonna skip past these early waves but yeah for now we'll just max them out so we have a level 4 fun time freddy as the max level which costed quite a lot to max out i'm not too sure why they made it this expensive to max out it isn't that great but it's decent for an epic but i mean you're gonna have to spend a lot of money though all right i maxed out the second fun time freddy wait how much okay we can only place three of these guys once again i'm not too sure if all of their placement limits are three but all i know is i can place three of these as well all right we have the carnage bonnie now as the first boss which isn't too strong but we have almost maxed out our last fun time freddy we just gotta shred this boss real quick and then we'll have enough money so yes yeah, level three now just need to do a bit more damage and we'll get there all right maxed out every single one of our units so yeah let's see how far this team can get we're about to take down the first boss 25,000 hp and 10,000 and there we go we just beaten the first boss of endless mode all right wave 28 we're gonna reach the wave 30 boss soon and we'll see how good it can do against that so currently we have 25,000 HP enemies which will be the strongest for quite some time before we get to the 30,000 HP enemies so yeah wave 30 now let's see the boss 172,000 HP boss we're probably just going to shred this thing let's see how much damage this Phantom Freddy did okay 843,000 damage that is insane so yeah the night guard did 1.13 million so that's not that far away so yeah this unit is definitely doing a lot of damage to these guys as just an epic unit which is really good all right a hundred thousand hp left on this boss which we can just clear pretty soon and it took like five minutes to get to wave 30 on full auto skip so shouldn't take as long as the previous round since we actually have auto skip on now all right 10,000 hp is going to go down right now and there we go we just beaten the wave 30 boss 1000 coins all right we are now on wave 40 we have the calamity nightmarian i think that's how you pronounce it all right so this boss has 200,000 hp we'll see how far it can get i mean it's actually getting pretty far with the amount of damage that we are doing i did not expect it to get this far with this high hp left i mean it's wave 43 now and the previous one lost at wave 63 i think so yeah we'll see how this does i mean in the previous round i was kind of lagging i'm not too sure if that changes the results of things but i mean they're getting very far did not expect them to get this far but we're gonna clear it right here 7000 hp and there we go we just killed that all right we are now on wave 50 344,000 hp boss this was the boss that was like walking one pixel at a time but i'm pretty sure i was lagging just now so let's see how fast it can actually walk with the slowing effect i mean right now it seems to be able to walk quite fast but let's see what happens once it has slowing on it i mean i'm not too sure if there's slowing applied to it yet i don't think so though but it's walking pretty fast um i think it walked 
a bit slower there i'm not too sure maybe i'm just tripping but let's see i think there should be like an ice cube as an icon to show that they are slowed but i do not see that ice cube right now on this boss i think it might have just been lagging just now when i was testing the rare unit i mean right now it has a hundred eighty thousand hp still we should be able to clear it i'm not too sure a hundred forty thousand starting to get a lot slower but it's not as slow as just now i mean yeah we were lagging a lot just now so yeah this boss does not just walk one pixel each time we were just lagging but we are still able to clear this i think 20,000 hp and we're about to get it down there we go we have a bunch of other guys here now so let's wait till wave 60 and we'll see if we can beat that boss i'm pretty sure the rare unit did not beat the wave 60 boss so we'll see how this epic unit will do Alright, wave 60 boss, 450,000 HP. So yeah, the last unit did not beat this boss. Let's see if this unit can. It might be able to, I'm not too sure. But we'll have to see. So we have some Curse Freddies with 38,000 HP. So yeah, that's gonna get pretty far. Okay, we have this guy with 45,000 HP. And we have two of them as well. Let's see how we deal with this wave 60s. Last time we lost at wave 63, let's see if it happens this time. They're getting very far already. And the boss, did the boss even take any damage? I don't think it took any damage. Yeah, I think we're losing at wave 63 as well. Unless we can skip like one more wave before we lose, we might be able to. And then we'll reach like wave 64, one wave better. But let's see, 448,000 HP. Okay, we reach wave 64 though. And we still have not damaged the boss. What is going on? Okay, wait, we are starting to nuke it all of a sudden. I'm pretty sure we just did like 100,000 damage to it. But we're gonna have to do that three more times. But it's not gonna happen. And we're gonna lose at wave 65. Alright, two ways better than the rare unit. Alright, so for the mythic unit, we have this booster, which doesn't do damage. But since we use two starter units to defend, we're just going to be boosting it. And let's see how far that can get. Alright, we are now in. I just fell through the map. I'm just gonna vote reanimation. Reset character. Hopefully I spawn at the top. Alright, there we go. So yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. Place two starter units over here. And then we'll max that out. And okay, we cleared that. So we just maxed out both our starters. So now I'm going to place down a booster right over there let's max that out okay maybe we can't yet but let's place down another booster here and we can place up to three boosters so i guess we can place another one back over here all right all of them at the same spots just these guys just don't do damage but at least they're boosting the night guards to do a ton of damage well not damage but dps since it's a cooldown boost and let's see how far this can actually get i'm quite curious so yeah as you can see the total damage is just zero since it does not do any damage and we have some more cursed foxies that just doesn't know how to use the tracks properly all right we are now on wave 10 our first boss carnage bonnie 70k hp let's see how fast we can kill this guy with the boosters I mean, I expected it to be faster, but okay. I mean, it isn't that bad. 50k HP left. Like, we haven't even gotten it below half HP yet. Okay, we just got it below half. So, let's see how this goes. First boss, and it already got this far. Yeah, I think we might actually do worse than the epic unit. But, I'm not too sure about the rare unit. We'll have to see. Alright, wave 20 boss now. 107,000 HP. Let's see how far this one gets. Like if the 60,000 HP one got till here, then the 100,000 HP one's probably gonna get all the way here, I'm guessing. Like it hasn't even taken any damage yet. Okay, my night guards just destroyed 
every single one of those. It's 60,000 HP left. Um, yeah, this one's gonna get pretty far unless... Okay, maybe not. It's probably going to die at the same spot. How do they just suddenly take so much damage after just a few seconds? And there we go. We even cleared it faster than the previous boss, which is insane. Alright, let's see the cooldown on the Night Guard. So it has a 0.6 second cooldown and by the way it already has a million damage since none of these guys are stealing any damage from the night guards so yeah pretty crazy i'm excited to see how far the circus baby can get and then we'll have the nightmare unit by the time the game updates wave 30 boss 166 000 hp i mean like as you can see it's not taking that much damage right now but every time when it reaches this point right here it starts taking like tens of thousands of damage which i don't know why but let's see how far this one can get all right it's not taking that much damage yet but okay starting to take quite a lot of damage but i think yeah these enemies are gonna tank quite a bit for it okay never mind it just took like twenty thousand damage out of nowhere am i lagging or what because what is this i swear it just took like twenty thousand damage just all of a sudden but hey 40,000 HP and it reached here. So yeah, this is the furthest point that anything has gotten on this team. And it's about to go down, but it reached a pretty far point. Alright, way 40 boss. 251,000 HP. Which is like 100,000 more than the previous boss, I think. So let's see how far this one can get. Alright, it's still at like nearly full HP. And it's already like all the way here but once again it's probably going to take like 50,000 damage or something i mean it took like more than 10,000 i think there has to be some lag or a glitch or something to where the health bar isn't going down when it should but 160,000 hp still and it's already all the way here i think we might actually lose and yeah all these other enemies are coming to tank a little bit for the boss 136,000 HP still. Alright, 110,000, 100,000. I don't know, maybe we might be able to clear it if we are lucky, but we just might not because the other enemies are coming. So this boss will be getting tanked. 42,000 HP, but it's moving so slow. Why is it moving this slow? Alright, 26,000 HP. We might actually clear this. Let's see, let's see. 7,000? Okay, I think we actually clear it, but can we clear all these other enemies? Alright, I think we can. I guess we'll be surviving until wave 50. Let's see how much damage our night guards have done. 4.1 million. And this one did 4.2 million. That is insane. Alright, wave 50, we have another boss 344,000 HP we should be losing here but like mathematically we should be losing but let's see if we can do a unpredictable comeback like we did for all the endless mode rounds still full HP on the boss but once again it's probably going to take like 20,000 damage which is what just happened and still at 300,000 HP though and we have all these enemies coming which are probably going to tank quite a bit for the boss all right 260,000 HP I'm pretty sure we lose here let's see though not gonna jinx anything all right 200,000 I swear if we somehow clear this I have no idea what to say all right 170,000 HP I swear it's like moving so slow whenever it reaches this point like okay maybe it is moving one pixel at a time I mean look at this is this guy even moving okay he's moving he's moving still at a hundred thousand HP honestly might not even be surprised if we actually clear this like this guy does not move at all like bro like seriously he's not moving like 
he's walking on a treadmill or something. This guy's not moving. He has been stuck here for like the past few seconds. 30,000 HP. Looks like we are not gonna lose on this wave either. And what happened to all of these other guys? Did it become like so laggy to where they can barely move? I think that's probably what happened. Like look at these guys too. These guys are supposed to be fast but they aren't moving as much. Things because there are way too many of them on the map right now. Looks like we're waiting for wave 60. I'll be very surprised if this lineup actually beats the epic unit. Alright, 450,000 HP boss. I'm not too sure if we cleared this with the epic unit, I don't quite remember. I think we might have actually killed the boss but then we lost like on a later wave. But let's see if we can beat this boss. If we don't then that means it's just gonna either beat the rare unit or not even beat the rare unit. Let's see though. And as you can see even these 45,000 HP guy is already gonna end the game. Actually it might tie with the rare unit. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Alright game hasn't ended. I have no idea how we are clutching this. Alright I think we're about to lose. We're starting to take some base damage but that wasn't even that much. Wait we just made it to wave 64. We barely beat the rare unit. Alright, some very interesting results, very close as well. Alright, so for the last unit before the update comes in 5 hours from now, I'm going to be using the Circus Baby, which is the secret unit of the Funtime Presence. And it's like 0.25% to get. Yeah, there we go. That's why it's pretty high in demand right now. So make sure to keep one of these so that you can get this new Nightmare unit over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into Endless Mode with this. Alright, we're in. Let's choose Reanimation. And there we go. Let's place down two of our Night Guards right there. And max it out. Let's not forget. Hello. Alright, there we go. Two maxed out Night Guards as always. But it costs 17,000 to place down a Circus Baby. How many can we place? Three. I swear every single unit is just three unit placements. But I think we're gonna be here for a long time since this unit is like a lot better than all the other ones. But let's see how this goes. Alright, we can place down our first Circus Baby. Obviously, we're gonna place it right here. We have 2000 starting damage every 3 seconds. Alright, we have enough to place down another Circus Baby right there. And we'll place down another one right back here like this. Alright, we have all 3 placed down right now. And so I'm just gonna max out this one at the left. It already did like 20,000 damage. How much did the... Okay, Night Guards are just carrying right now since it has a range advantage. But yeah, we're gonna be here for quite a while. Alright, upgrade level 2 Circus Baby and level 3. I'm not too sure which one is the max level. I think it might be level 4 that's maxed if I'm not mistaken. And we're already up to wave 10. So yeah, let's do some big damage to this guy. Let's see if it, you know, gets meltdown a bit faster than last time. Yeah, the Circus Baby is definitely doing quite a lot of damage to this guy. 45, 40, 30k. The last time it died like right here. Let's see if we can clear it earlier. Um, Max out my Circus Baby right there. Level 4 now. And yeah, it seems like we cleared it way earlier than last time. So I think we already know how far this unit is going to get. Alright, maxing out my second Circus Baby. Alright, level 3. One more level and we can max that out. Alright, level 4 Circus Baby maxed out. Now I'm just going to max out the last one and then we'll see how far this team can get. Alright, we can now max out our final Circus Baby. So now we'll just relax and just see how far we can get all right wave 20 boss let's see how much damage we can do to him already 500,000 from a circus baby that's pretty decent damage yeah 4,000 damage every two seconds that's not bad and we're probably just going to melt this guy 
55,000 already. Yeah, this guy is not going anywhere. 40,000, 33. This guy is so dead. Yeah, we're gonna get pretty far. This is going to be a pretty long round. Probably gonna fall asleep. And there we go. Wave 20 cleared. Alright, wave 30. 172,000 HP. This guy probably wouldn't get that far. Let's see how fast we can melt this guy. It's in circus baby range now. 1.35 million damage. I see the night guard. Oh wow. The circus baby actually did more damage than the night guard. Now that's when you know you can already um beat everything. I think it's safe to say that we are just gonna get at least to wave 70. That's my guess. At least. Alright. We're going to clear this boss pretty soon. And there we go. We just beat the wave 30. 30 boss all right wave 40 boss 251 000 hp a little bit tougher but we can clear this pretty easily already down to 160 000 hp i mean it's gonna get quite far but it's not gonna get too far 100 000 and where is he going okay i thought he wouldn't turn 2 million damage and this one at 2 million as well the night guard still at 1 million this one probably did not do any damage yet maybe first damage here okay maybe not but that did get quite far i don't know maybe wave 70 maybe not i'm not too sure but let's see Alright, way 40 boss, 344,000 HP. This guy walks like one pixel every time when he's slowed. I mean, look at this. Like, he's like always going back to the same spot, moving like little by little. Plus, he's not even slowed yet. Wait till he's slowed. I mean, this wave is always laggy. I'm not too sure it's because of the lag or he's just really slow. Like, look at this. Kind of weird. I'm looking at his feet right now. 130,000 HP only. Yeah, we're clearing this very fast. Like, I remember all the other waves. I think it gets like all the way here. But it seems like we're just gonna clear it when it reaches here, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah, uh, he's just gonna die there. And there we go. Wave 50 cleared just like that. Insane. Alright, wave 60 boss, 450,000 HP. This is the boss that a few units couldn't beat. So let's see how far he can get. I mean, we are definitely going to beat this. There's no way we don't. So yeah, we'll just see how far this boss can get. And then we'll see how much further this team can get. My guess was at least wave 70, but we don't know yet. So we'll have to see. It might not get wave 70. It might. These are some pretty nice rewards though. I'm not gonna lie. 1,700 coins. That's quite a lot of coins, but a lot of time spent. I wish there was two times speed in this game. Um, okay. 300,000 HP left. Yeah, we're doing quite a lot of damage. 4 million. 5.8 million on this one. That's insane. Night Guard's at 3.5 million. Alright, 170k, but it's probably going to take, yeah, 120,000 left. I think it's lag that's making that jump. Alright, 50k HP. We, we are definitely going to clear the boss, but can we clear all of the other stuff? Pretty sure we can. Yeah, there we go. We cleared all that. Wave 65. Wave 66 now. We're definitely going to get wave 70 with this loadout. Like 100%. There's no way we don't. Curse Freddy's at 40,000 HP now. And we also got 48,000 HPs. 49,000 HP now. Yeah, they're getting pretty tough very quickly. Like this Curse Freddy just went from 40,000 HP to 41,000. Okay, the scaling is starting to increase a lot. Let's see how wave 70 is going to be. Wave 69 now. Alright, wave 70, Carnage, Bonnie as well. Did they run out of bosses? Okay, so we're back with this Carnage, Bonnie, 571,000 HP, which I think we can actually clear. But we'll have to see because all these other enemies are buff like crazy as well like as you can see this guy just went from like 48,000 or something to 57,000 HP that is insane.
Curse Freddy's are up to 48,000 HP now. This scaling is actually insane. 6.9 million damage on this circus baby. Alright, let's see how we do. I'm pretty sure we beat this. 400,000 HP still though. Not gonna jinx it now. 340,000. I don't know. We might not beat it, but we also might beat it. But every time it like gets over here, we make some epic comeback. And look at that. I have no idea how, but we just did like 50,000 damage to it. Like, did you see that? Um, I'm not too sure if it's lag or what, but interesting yeah we always do a comeback over here i'm pretty sure we clear this looks like we're gonna be going for wave 80 insane how much rewards do we get 350 coins okay we are up to 2400 coins now i'll take that all right we'll be waiting for wave 80 i'm not too sure i think we're just gonna lose at wave 80 because wave 70 got pretty far but yeah even these guys are getting far we have to be losing at wave 80. Alright, wave 78, we're still perfectly fine. We won't have problems if there's no boss. Like, these guys are just getting melted. Alright, wave 80 boss is now here. 706,000 HP. I'm pretty sure we lose here. If we do another epic comeback, I don't know what to say. And these guys are super buff now this guy's at 71,000 hp there is no way we clear this if we somehow clear this then um i'm rage quitting 700,000 hp still but once again it's probably just going to like take 10,000 damage once it reaches over here not too sure why but it is what it is let's see still at 700,000 hp but we'll have to see the big jump all right these normal guys are getting far as well i swear this guy is not moving like bro okay never mind he is moving he's still at 700,000 hp i wonder when the hp bar is going to update oh okay he just took like 300,000 damage there like what is this i have no idea if i'm just lagging or it's a glitch it just took like 300,000 damage out of nowhere we might actually clear this what okay i'm just gonna stop talking about when we're gonna lose because apparently we just keep making comebacks like this it's so unpredictable and okay it's already below 100,000 hp all right we're just gonna clear this i i don't mind it's free rewards let's see how much i get from this 2800 coins i'll take that all right wave 90 now dead man foxy 855,000 hp i mean even these normal guys got very far yeah there's no way we clear this it already took like a hundred thousand hp yeah i don't think that we will lose we might lose we might not just wait for some crazy comeback again curse freddy's are now at 71,000 hp and this guy with 85,000. all right i'm still not gonna assume that we're gonna lose but let's just see just wait till like the dead man foxy's hp updates i have no idea why it's just stuck and then all of a sudden it takes a million damage we can probably guess if we're gonna lose or not after this hp bar updates great it's not updating i guess we'll have to see if it reaches the end or not um curse freddy's still quite high in hp this guy has 87,000 hp now and okay hp just updated and it took like 300,000 damage i think but it's still almost at 500,000 HP. Oh wait, never mind. I guess it took another 100,000 out of nowhere. It's now at 380,000 HP. I'm not even gonna say that we will lose because I think we might beat this. I'm pretty sure we beat this. Looks like we're gonna be going for wave 100. That's insane. I'll take the rewards though. Wait, 150,000 HP. It's very, very close to the end. Um, this guy has 88,000 HP. Okay, I, I think we actually lose. Wait, hold on. Okay, we lost. Wow, it actually nearly got to wave 100. We were one wave away from wave 100. Still got a ton of rewards from that. I'll take it. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna wait till 
the update drops and we will be testing out the final unit all right so the new five nights td update just dropped few hours ago and i have received my nightmare unit so this guy looks insane and i think we're gonna be spending quite a while on this endless round since he does 5000 damage every two seconds for the first level and once he's maxed 10,000 every two seconds which compared to the circus baby it's a lot more so yeah we're gonna be spending quite a while here but we gotta do it and i just totally forgot to equip it um let me just equip that and let's get back in okay there we go all right we are now in choosing reanimation and like all the other rounds just gonna place two starter units just like this max it out and uh okay there we go we just maxed out both our starters and it costs eighteen thousand dollars to place this guy down yeah we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we can check this guy out okay the range isn't that bad especially it doesn't even have a trait to boost its range that's actually pretty good all right pretty excited to test him out we're fourteen thousand now we just need to do a little bit more damage and we can place him right now so i'm just gonna place him right in the middle over here and twenty two thousand dollars to upgrade it once all right um yeah we're gonna have to wait a lot longer to place down another one but i mean yeah it's going to be pretty strong all right we can place down another nightmare over here and we'll place our last one pretty soon let's look at his attack i think it's doing like yeah blue lasers over here that seems pretty cool that is op honestly all right we can now place down the last one right here okay never mind you can only place two of these that's interesting all right i guess we can spend the rest of the money on upgrading them so this guy already did like eighty four thousand damage and night guards did eighty eight thousand oh wait never mind this guy did a hundred thousand now all right so yeah this guy is definitely carrying right now and we have the carnage bonnie so okay we maxed out the first guy and now we'll max out the second guy pretty soon we should be able to get a lot of money from this carnage bonnie all right we can now level up this guy to level two so yeah level four is the max level once again all right level three now one more level and we can max it out costed a lot less money than i expected honestly but i'm not complaining all right maxed out this nightmare unit we'll see how far we can get so the difference between this and the circus baby is the damage obviously and the placement limit i wonder how far we can get with just two of them compared to the three circus babies so i'm pretty sure we ended off at wave 99 for the circus baby so we'll see how far this one can get all right wave 20 boss let's see how fast we can melt this guy a little bit laggy not too sure why but we're just chunking this boss down it's already down to 50,000 HP and also I've noticed that this boss health bar in the middle does not update that frequently so you gotta like check out the actual health above the boss which actually updates which is what I noticed but yeah we just chunked that thing down. Alright wave 30 boss dead man foxy 172,000 HP. I just want to see the satisfaction of chunking this boss down as well. And holy, I'm pretty sure we just did like 20,000 damage from in like one second. And yeah, we gotta see the actual HP. Never mind, it actually updates now. So like before the update, the boss health bar did not update. But this time's updating, so that's good. So that it just doesn't randomly, you know take like a lot of damage each time so yeah we just cleared that it's pretty easy i think we're gonna be here for a very long time way 40 boss 251,000 hp this one's gonna survive quite a bit but we're still gonna do a ton of damage to it doesn't seem like much but we're actually doing a lot of damage to this guy like 10k each time 
look at it go i think it's a little bit laggy right now not too sure yeah it's, it's definitely lagging all right 73,000 hp never mind the boss health isn't updating so it's gonna go down like right now there we go wave 40 boss cleared just like right over here and a lot of lag all right wave 50 boss 344,000 hp once again this is the guy that barely walks when he slowed his feet is through the ground right now is he floating nice he's floating okay never mind he's not floating and did they fix the curse foxies they are no longer like falling down the track like before the update i mean at least they fixed that but once again this guy barely moves he's just always going back to the same spot over and over i mean yeah he moves but just very slow and he's just gonna get chunked and now he is dead and that is wave 50 boss just dying over here we're gonna be here for a while all right wave 60 boss 450,000 hp this is a boss that a lot of the previous units lost to so we'll just see how fast we can kill it with this team already down to 400,000 hp and uh yeah the health bar isn't updating again okay now it's down to 300,000 hp and yeah this guy is not gonna get too far 200,000 hp already by the time it's here it's gonna be like a hundred thousand and it's a hundred thousand hp and it's going to die like right here all right it's now dead wave 60 boss cleared just like that a lot of the previous units had quite some trouble killing this boss like usually it would at least get like over here but we just cleared that like it was nothing all right wave 70 boss 571,000 HP only like the circus baby team beaten this boss so once again we'll just see how fast we can melt it and a lot less lag now which is very good and what is this like a chain attack or something because not chain i mean like static kind of attack since i'm seeing like a lot of blue stuff just like connecting to all these enemies i think that's what the attack is all about wait that's actually kind of op that is kind of op like it does a lot of damage to this carnage bonnie is already down to 150,000 hp yeah it's gonna die like right over here and wave 70 boss cleared just like that that is insane and oh yeah they added new presents now since the season is now over so yeah we can get some pretty nice new units that we can test out in the future all right wave 80 boss 700,000 hp this is a lot tougher but wait does this guy stun the enemies as well yo it's like a taser attack it's like stunning and there's like a connecting attack that's crazy this unit is actually good i heard some people say that it's not that great but it's honestly not that bad like the stunning and then just this kind of static attack that's that's pretty good and i don't even have a trait on him all right um yeah wave 80 boss is just not gonna get too far i mean it still has 300,000 hp but he's just gonna get melted right around here i'm guessing like that's that's decent but not that far so yeah 100,000 hp already soon we'll just say bye bye to this wave 80 boss and there we go we just beaten the wave 80 boss all right wave 90 boss dead man foxy 855,000 hp which will just definitely clear no doubt about it i mean it's already down to like 820,000 hp never mind it's already down to 700,000 hp like i don't know why the boss health bar does not update you have to like look up here 640,000 hp yep this guy's not going anywhere wait how did they get that far I mean yeah to be fair this guy attacks kind of slow 2 second cooldown that's kind of long but he does a lot of damage and it's static attack 
insane but yeah we're still definitely clearing this no doubt about it so what we have to beat is wave 99 since that's the highest any of these circus units have gotten a hundred thirty thousand hp now never mind it's below a hundred thousand hp okay it's gonna die soon i mean he got pretty far that's decently far but we gotta keep in mind this is wave 95 and he died over here so yeah i'm pretty sure we are just gonna beat wave 100 i'm quite confident that we can unless the scaling is just insane after that but we'll see all right wave 99 this is the wave that we lost to while using the circus baby but it seems like a no problem to me but when we were using the circus baby the wave 90 boss was still alive at wave 99 and we just reached wave 100 the boss has 1 million hp insane let's see how far this guy can get I've not seen a 1 million HP enemy in Five Nights TD yet. This is my first time since I finally got good units. Yo, these guys are so fast. Yo, we are gonna lose to these guys. Okay, level 100 scaling is pretty insane. But, um, we did not lose. I'll take it. We'll live for some more. They are just so fast. Yeah, we are dying to this one. Unless our base survives. Let's see. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, we lost. Wave 102 though, that's like 3 waves better than a circus baby but we gotta know that the wave 100 scaling is insane so yeah fair enough. Alright so anyways guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video since that took way too long to just test everything out but yeah that was some pretty interesting results i really enjoyed making this and i really hope that you have enjoyed this video as well and if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one